next to me by Imagine Dragons. We're in standard tuning. There's no capo. We're going to look at the chords first. We've got a D, a B minor, an A, and a G chord. If you know how to play those chords, feel free to skip ahead. And then towards the end of the tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to do the finger picking. So if you're interested, you can skip towards the end of the video and learn the finger picking as well. Well, let's start out here by learning the chords. So first we've got this D chord. Your index is on your second fret of your G string. That's your third string up. One, two, three strings up. The middle finger is on the second fret of the high E string here. And your ring finger is on the third fret of the B. And we play these four strings. We do not play these top two strings. So the low E and the A string, we do not play. Just those four strings. So let's talk about an A chord now. Your middle finger is going to be on your second fret of your D string. That's your third string down, one, two, three strings down. Ring finger is going to be on the second fret of the G, tucked right under that middle finger. And your pinky is on the second fret of the B. That's your second string up. So they're all sandwiched in there on that second fret. And we're going to play this A chord. So you're going to play all the strings except for this low E. So you're playing five strings there. Now let's talk about this B minor bar chord. So if you're beginner, bar chords are tough, I know. We'll talk about how to play this as a beginner and advanced. Let's talk about it the advanced way first. So you're going to bar your second fret with your index finger. You're going to bar all the strings except for this low E. Your middle finger is going to be on the third fret of the B. Ring finger is on the fourth fret of the D string. And your pinky is tucked under on the fourth fret of the G to give you your A minor shape on top of this bar here. So there's your B minor if you're advanced. If you're not advanced, go ahead and pick up this index finger so you're not barring and just play this uh, root note B string here on the A. And then try not to play that high E. And if that's too difficult to, for you and it's a stretch, just go ahead and play those three strings so you have your A minor position shifted up here to the third fret and just play those strings. Okay, so there is your B minor. And finally, we have a G chord to talk about here. So for a G chord, your ring finger goes on the third fret of the high E string. That's the string on the bottom of the guitar here. Middle finger is on the third fret of the low E. And your index finger goes on the second fret of the A string. And there is your G chord. And you play all six strings for that chord. Okay, so those are the chords. Let's go ahead and start talking about the progression now. So this is what the progression sounds like. We start on our D chord. G chord, B minor, A, back to your D. Okay, so the strumming goes down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, switch to your G, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, B minor, down, down, up, down, up, switch to your A, down, down, up, down, up, D. Nice and slow here. So that's the progression. It's pretty simple, and that's played throughout the entire song, actually. The chorus, the pre-chorus, the bridge. It's the same progression. D, G, B minor, A, back to your D. So let's go through that one more time, really slowly here. So just keep in mind that these chords only are serving half the bar there. So down, down, up, down, up, switch, down, down, up, down, up, back to your D. Cool. So I think that should give you enough to practice with that. Now I want to talk about the finger picking for those of you who are interested in learning that. It's very quick. Um, it's tough to play along with the song. But what is essentially happening is on your D chord, you are picking this root note, D. Then you go 
going B string, G string, high E string. And then you start doing E, the high E, B, G, high E, B, G, high E, B, G, very quickly. You do the same thing when you switch to your G chord, but now instead of picking that D string, you're picking your root note low E here on that G. So that goes low E, B, G, high E, and then you start doing E, B, G, E, B, G, E, B, G, E, B, G. Then you go to your B minor. Same picking, but then you're just picking that root note A string. Again, A string for your A chord. And back to your D. So I'm going to walk through this nice and slow here. To your G chord. To your B minor. A. D. And that's it. So. Like I said, the tough thing about that finger picking is how quickly they do the finger picking. Um, so it's tough to play along with the tempo that is in the song. That is going to be it for this tutorial. If you enjoyed this, please do me a huge favor. Subscribe to my channel. Check out my songwriting playlist. I've been uh, writing a couple songs, and I'd really enjoy if you would listen and let me know what you think. I always enjoy feedback. So, again, if you have questions, feel free to comment below. Thank you for watching.